All right, so today we are going to be discussing breast augmentation. And you have come to see me for breast augmentation really because you're unhappy with the aesthetics of your breast. And we're going to achieve through the placement of implants really some upper pole fullness to you know, put your body in greater proportion. Our top is going to give us better curves with our bottom. And, and everything is going to be improved from how we fit into clothing to bras to bathing suits and really overall make you feel a lot happier with your body. So what made you want to come in for breast augmentation? Well, I've been thinking about it for uh, many years now. Um, I specifically wanted to wait until I was 22 so that I could get the silicone um, so that the saline's had the option. And I really just wanted to get them so that I had a more feminine figure um, to make me feel a little bit better about myself, for myself, um, personally, uh, and just so that um, I could be a little bit more proportional with my body. That's great. So, you know, when we talk about breast augmentation, there are four things that we discuss. The first is saline versus silicone. And silicone is typically a more natural feeling implant. It looks better, it feels better. Uh, and like you said, we generally have to wait till we're after 22 to place them. So we're going to be doing silicone implants. Uh, the next question is above or below the muscle. And then someone like you who doesn't have a lot of breast tissue and who's skinnier, we really like to go underneath the muscle to decrease the visibility and palpability of the implant. The next question is incision placement. So the typical incisions are underneath the breast or underneath the areola. Uh, and in you, again, we're going to be going underneath the breast. It conceals the incision better. It gives us a very uh, nice exposure for the procedure. And it's a very pretty result. And lastly, size. So we've gone over a lot about size, both uh, looking at before and after pictures, and we really look and let's use uh, biodimensional planning. So we take measurements of your body and based on those measurements, pick an implant to fit your body so that it's not too wide, it's not too narrow. It's really going to fit your body appropriately and pretty. Any questions? Um, not this time. Okay, good. So right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna use uh, some sizing and this is really just to get a feel for the volume. It's not necessarily how exactly they're gonna look because you know, they're on top of the body, but this is going to give you a sense of volume and really um, how and what to expect. So, it's very important when we're doing breast augmentation that we take good measurements of the body. And we use what's called biodimensional planning to take these measurements. Uh, essentially, we measure a couple different distances, starting with the sternal notch to nipple distance. And what this tells us is it just gives us an overall assessment of uh, the height of the chest. And you can tell a lot about the symmetries of the breast. The next measurement is from the nipple to the inframammary fold. So this tells us pretty much the volume of the lower pole of the breast. Okay, and we also assess the, how uniform the inframammary folds are, the height of the inframammary folds, because that can very uh, displace the implants in different ways. And the next, possibly the most important measurement, is the base width of the chest. And what this allows us to do is really determine the width of our implant to fit the chest well, so that it's not too wide and it's not too narrow. And lastly, we just look at the pinch thickness of the breast. So we just make sure that there's an adequate pinch thickness, and this tells us whether or not we can even consider going above uh, or below the muscle. All right, so basically what we're gonna be doing is we're using a mentor sizing kit, and based on the measurements of her body, we're gonna be starting off in the 400 cc range. So the 400 cc is really gonna give us an impression as to really how we like to look. So if you want to face this way, and just place it underneath the sports bra on top of your skin, and really we'll be able to see exactly what that volume does. And if you look, it's very important to look both from uh, the side view, and you can see, if you want to pull the shirt down a little tighter, yeah, and you can see what that does to your profile. 
You know, it doesn't make you look heavier. It fits your body quite nicely. It gives you the impression of breast, gives you some upper pole fullness, as opposed to if you want to turn the other way and face me, you can see how without that volume, you don't have that feminine figure. And then when you look in the mirror, if you want to just extend your arms just a little bit, you can see that on the right side, you're very flat, not flat chested, but flat in terms of going down the side, and then you have the nice curves of your hips. Whereas on the other side, it really accentuates that hourglass appearance and gives you that feminine curve and feminine type of figure that we're trying to achieve. So what do you think of that? You like that shape, or you want to go bigger? Um, I like this. Let's just see what bigger it looks like. So what I think is important as the plastic surgeon is my ultimate goal is to make the patient happy. I want her to look in the mirror and be happy with her body, and I don't have any preconceived, you can put this on the other side, I don't have any preconceived ideas or notions about what size I want the patient to have. I know what her body dimensions are. I know what implants are going to fit in terms of her body and what's going to be proportionate to her body. And once we're in that range, that's how we determine do we want to be on the smaller side of that range or the larger side of that range. And that's really not that big of a difference. So when we look at you, you know, they're virtually very similar. Um, you know, essentially they're 50 cc's difference. And 50 cc's, to put it in terms of uh, numbers that you may understand, 30 cc's is an ounce. A Coke can is 12 ounces, so the difference between 400 and 450 is essentially a tenth of a Coke can. You know, it's very small amounts, and when you're trying to be perfect from a surgeon perspective, yeah, it matters, but from a patient perspective, it's really not that big of a deal, and that's why once we're in that range, 25, 50 cc's in either direction, uh, it's all the same, essentially from an aesthetic point. I think it's pretty. Really good. I agree. All right. Well, which one do you think you like better? Um, I actually think I like the 400 back. 400 back. Yes. I agree. All right. Let's take that one out. Do you want to try smaller just to see it? Uh, yes. Okay. So then put this one in the other side. All right. So now she really likes 400. And we tried 450 on one side, and she thought that that was a little too large. So now we have 350 on one side and 400 in the other. And the, another thing to really keep in mind is, how tall are you? I'm 5'9". Five 5'9". Nine. Five nine. You're very tall. Um, you're tiny, but you're tall. Mm -hmm. And so we need an implant that, number one, has enough volume to fit a 5'9 frame, but is not too big or too wide to really um, make it so it's not proportionate. And that's where we really come into play in terms of projection. So there are different types of, types of implants, both uh, from a profile perspective and from a size perspective. Size and base width corresponds to your body. The profile or height of the implant has to do with the height of the implant. So that once we get the appropriate uh, width, to fit the width of your chest, then we can change the height of the implant to fit the size that we want to get. So in someone like you who's very skinny, who wants a larger type of implant, we often will go with a narrower implant to fit your narrower chest width, but then increase the height of the implant using higher projection implants to really get the desired size that we want. Okay, so which one do you like better here? I like this one. For sure. All right, so let's put 400 on both, and I think we got our size. Good. So, and you can see that basically I think 400 is very pretty. It fits your body very nicely. I think it's not overly uh, large. I think it's not too small. I think it's perfect. Perfect. Okay, good.